All right, we just discussed um, one part of renal autoregulation, which is the myogenic mechanism of regulating glomerular filtration rate. But the other <coughs> part of renal autoregulation, the other intrinsic control is the macula densa feedback system. So that's what I will discuss in this small lecture. So just like with the myogenic mechanism, the macula densa feedback system also uses vasoconstriction and vasodilation of the afferent arteriole in order to adjust the um, filtration rate and to make sure that it is staying constant no matter what, ch what other changes are taking place. So um, if you remember with the myogenic mechanism, blood pressure was being monitored in the afferent arteriole because blood pressure directly affects the filtration rate. And then um, you had vasoconstriction or vasodilation of the afferent arteriole, depending on what type of adjustment needed to be made. Um, but with the macula densa feedback system, it's actually the ion concentration of the filtrate that is being monitored. And so uh, within the renal tubule, there are cells, they're called macula densa cells that monitor the concentration of the filtrate. If there is a higher than normal concentra ion concentration in the filtrate, that would be an indication that filtration rate has increased um, so that the result is that now there are, there's a higher concentration of ions in the filtrate because more things are passing through the filtration membrane per minute. So if the ion concentration of the filtrate increases, which indicates that filtration rate has increased, then the macula densa cells, which are the cells within the tubule that have detected that increased concentration, they will inhibit the release of nitric oxide from the cells within the juxtaglomerular apparatus. And nitric oxide, if it is released, it causes vasodilation. So if the macula densa cells are preventing the release of nitric oxide, then the afferent arterial will be constricted. It will not dilate. So if it constricts, if that arterial constricts, then that is going to decrease the blood flow through that arterial. And therefore it's going to decrease the filtration rate. Then the exact opposite situation will occur if the macula densa cells detect um, a decrease in ion concentration of the filtrate. So a decrease in ion concentration would indicate a decrease in glomerular filtration rate. So there's not as many ions that are, are crossing the filtration membrane per minute. So that means the filtration rate has decreased and therefore the macula densa cells will cause the release of nitric oxide. And if that is released, it causes vasodilation. So if the afferent arteriole dilates, that means that it expands, that will increase blood flow through the arteriole to the filtration membrane. So that is going to increase the filtration rate. Okay, so with the macula densa feedback system, you're still using vasoconstriction and vasodilation, but you have just a different type of cell. You have macula densa cells that are monitoring ion concentration rather than monitoring blood pressure. Um, the, in this situation, those cells are monitoring the ion concentration of the filtrate and then sending a signal to the juxtaglomerular apparatus to either release nitric oxide or to inhibit its release. 
And that is going to directly affect vasoconstriction or vasodilation in the afferent arteriole. 